How are you guys doing? Thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings here in our uh, little how-to section. We got a newer Chevrolet pickup. Got lights like this. Want to put a few strobe lights in it. Now this is the nicer uh, LED version. This uh, was on a 2500 HD, but uh, these lights go across a couple different um, trim lines, of course. But they all have halogen reverse, so our auto flasher module doesn't work very well without changing the bulbs. We can use our auto flasher module if you want to change the bulbs to LED, but that won't really get you amber unless you changed your reverse lights to amber. So we're going to install our LED hideaway in these lights, and we're going to do it right with those holes. Now, when you drill these holes, the first thing I did was there was a small rib right here, and I smoothed it out right here. So we smoothed it out to create a flatter surface for the light. You can see some of my uh, scribbles here. We want to leave at least three eighths down this line here for the edge of the bed. The bottom of the reverse reflector housing, you can see, is basically in line with this relief. Now this relief here is for the bed, the, uh, the tailgate hold down bolt. So you can't go anywhere in there. We don't want to go down below it really either because uh, we're out of the reverse lens. So that is where we drill them. And then here's the other side for you. Same reference, did some marks. Uh, as you can see, we are basically right on the bottom of that with our one inch hole. Our one inch hole is going to fit an LED hideaway in there. And what we want to do is we want to warm up this wire a little bit with a hair dryer or a heat gun. And we want to gently persuade it to be nice and flat like that. We want to bring that back this way, and that way when we reinstall the light, that wire is nice and tucked in there like that, okay? And like I say, a heat gun is nice to persuade that wire, definitely kind of softens it up and makes it a little bit more pliable. But that is right there where we're going to be drilling the LED, and uh, I'm going to do it probably on the non-LED. This is an LED brake and tail with the, the like I say they all have the incandescent reverse so darn it if you got new Chevy with lights like that hopefully this was helpful check the link in the description for our two LED hideaways I would go myself with a low dome you may you might be able to squeeze a high dome in there but I believe that's gonna get pretty close to your reverse bulb especially if you went with an aftermarket large reverse bulb um you, you might be able to make it fit i'm not see it's it's right there so i'd say a low dome would probably be the way to go so thanks again for watching wicked warnings we're your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment and a few how-to videos like i'm trying to do here so make sure you seal this up a little bit with a little rtv or the provided foam gasket as well and uh just take a 16th inch drill bit and pre-drill your, your holes here for your screws it makes it a whole lot easier and again that's a one inch hole through there i always take the light if you're going to drill it and I'll hold it completely upside down kind of on the workbench like that and drill from the bottom up with a shop vac right handy it really is nice to have two people and uh, that way all the shavings fall straight down shop vac everything out of there real quick and you won't end up with a a light full of garbage down in the bottom like you see on a couple of trucks once in a while especially headlights so thanks again for watching wicked warnings pardon the shaky camera I had to do this one in my hand how you doing everybody just a little follow-up to the hideaway install on these tails uh, as you can see now we've got that light installed I chose uh, to just RTV kind of glue it in there and let it dry overnight and that way you can forego the screws if you get a good seal on the RTV and let it dry all night long uh, I folded this back I heated it with a heat gun I got it nice and flat but the one thing we did have to do was we added a little clearance right here and uh, we can do that with a grinder an air grinder or a Dremel or anything like that and this is a completely hidden uh, hidden modification the lens actually comes all the way to this edge here to this far edge so you don't see any of this but uh, it was needed for the hideaway install uh, it was a little too close for my comfort so I just put that small relief in right there the other trick that I did was I trimmed the studs here down just a little bit I just took the tip of them off because that's kind of unneeded and it gave me a little bit more working room to insert that tail light without rubbing or risking any damage to this you can see here it was very easy to mark that I just uh, helped position the tail light and marked kind of right there where the hideaway was just a little bit close now the tail lights not in yet but I'm just showing you here the reference in that that little bit of clearance helps that wire pass through right there without rubbing real hard or getting in the way of anything and then 
once the taillight's totally installed, as you can see, you really, I mean, you could peek in the corner and kind of maybe see just the tiniest bit, but uh, it doesn't show up at all. So, of course, touch up paint. Make sure you paint that edge. Let it dry so you don't have any issues. But uh, that is uh, how we do the hideaways here in this particular new Silverado taillight.